Mechanics. <laughs> Two A Mechanics. Okay, you ready? Rolling. Slow. Go for it. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla Rundel, if you do not know me. I am going to be installing new coilovers on my car today, which I am so, so excited about because I have been miserable the last six months driving around this car because my suspension literally feels like it has failed. And these KW coilovers that I am going to show you guys have been my dream coilovers for this car for years. I have known about this company ever since I started getting into cars and everybody always talks about how wonderful of a product they are and that they are the best coilovers in the industry. I just am so excited for these. But anyways, out of all the choices on the KW website, I did choose to go with the KW Club Sport 2s, which these are a road legal racing coilover. So it is more of an aggressive coilover. So if you guys are looking for a coilover just to slam your car, I would definitely pick something different and cheaper. But if you guys want the best possible coilover that has great riding handling capabilities, I don't think there is a better coilover than this on the market. I couldn't help myself. I opened up the box, but look how gorgeous these are. I just, when I first opened these up, I literally shed it to because these are beautiful. I wish I could hang these up on my wall, but I really just want my car to ride amazing. In order to get these Club Sport 2s, you do have to reach out to KW and fill out a form that they will send you. And I put in all the specs for my Camaro and I measured my wheel and how low my fender is to the ground, which I believe is 16.5 inches from the middle of the wheel up to the bottom of my fender. And they will tell you exactly how, what they can do and they basically will custom build coilovers for you. Uh, these do come with like a little reservoir right here and two different springs. So then these are the front piece and then the rear coilover definitely looks slightly different from the front and these are the rear. I have never installed coilovers ever in my life. I am just a girl in a garage that is not in a car family so I've been told by multiple people that coilovers are one of the easiest things to install on a vehicle, but I also have heard that for Camaros, rear coilovers are very difficult to install. I currently have Petters coilovers on my car, and I have had them on my car for almost four years now. When I first got them, they rode great, but they do not have a lifetime warranty. The great thing about these KW coilovers is that they do come with a lifetime warranty. So if you ever think the coilovers are failing or the ride quality has decreased, you can always reach out to them and they'll help you. So yes, if you do spend the extra money, it does seem expensive, but at the end of the day, if you're gonna keep switching out coilovers every two, three years with changing up vehicles or with driving a lot, especially as a daily, this will end up saving you money, especially if you spend over a thousand dollars each time for petters. All right, so, Let's get these installed. So cute. I'm scary. This is where my car sits currently. I am showing you guys the rear of the Camaro. Currently, I am sitting on Petter's coilovers and they are fully maxed out on the coilovers. Uh, the wheels I'm running, they are the HRE FF04s. They are 20 by 10 and a half wide. And I am running the R1 Concepts slotted rotors with the stock Brembo's. A lot of people think these are aftermarket, but those are stock. I just repainted them. I think it's like my fourth video on the channel painting those. I run a 295 35 20 in the rear. There are the Nitto triple five R2s in the rear. Then in the front, this is how I'm sitting. These are the Nitto triple five G2s in the front for more of a street tire rather than the radials in the back along with the stock brakes and R1 concept rotors in the front. So just to show you guys real quickly, this is how the car currently sits on the current setup for the Petters. And they do, they are adjustable up here. Pretty good fitment right now. Both the front and rear tires have one degree of camber. I love how the rear sits. Oh my 
god, this scary looks got me. Mm, yeah, that's scary. Be careful, please. That's like my coil over settling. Front boys. This is all disconnected. That looks like it's broken up there, but this top hat's completely broken off. Um, but it is almost lowered all the way, like it's completely maxed out for fitment. But I'm just ready to get a real set of coilovers on this car because. When I, every time I lift this thing up, it just cracks and makes noises, and especially going over bumps, it's super loud, so no good anymore. Now I'm on the driver's side. This one's not nearly as bad. The spring doesn't move off, but if I start shaking it, I literally just took the entire thing apart. That doesn't look as bad up there. It's not shattered. Like usual, when I work on my car, I always like to clean wherever I'm working. So I'm using SI, which is Superior Image, their Crush Power Cleaner Degreaser. And I'm basically just spraying like everything in here and just getting it all cleaned up for when I'm working on it. So I'm not constantly getting dirty. So I just quickly cleaned up all the suspension. So now you can see what's going on and you don't see a bunch of rubbish dirt in there. You can actually see the white chassis. So this paint job doesn't look like a paint job because it all matches now. The fronts are easier. Again, I've never installed coilovers on my own, so this is my first time. So I have a little bit of a list of what to do. So obviously remove the wheels, which took me the longest because jacking it up always takes long. I believe it's like a 10 millimeter for your brake line and, a and ABS wiring harness. Um, one is on the right, which is your wiring harness, this black line, and then one on the left is your brake line. I do have stainless steel brake lines, which is better for it because the rubber lines, the rubber lines, especially in Arizona, will expand, <clears throat> giving you less braking power because not as much fluid is directly hitting your calipers. So the stainless steel lines are just another insurance so your lines don't explode and you'll be on the side of the road. And then you have to unbolt the sway bar and end links which is behind here. And I do already have the Detroit Speed sway bar and end links, and those both connect to one bolt at the bottom where the end link is, and then the end link connects to the coilover unit on top. After you unhook those and unhook it away from your rotor and such, the entire unit should be able to come out. All right, so this right here should just pop out. Oh, so close. First, no, it's like the third one now. I don't know where the washer went. Woo. I'm eating their own. Oh, oh wait, a little. It's moving. Oh, I'm like, I'm like pulling against you. <laughs> <laughs> Just as girls. <laughs> Minus Samuel. The girliest. Oh, that, that felt so much easier. The girliest girl of them all. Oh god, that scares me. Oh, those lines there. <laughs> Look at me at go! Be smarter, not harder. What is this piece now? So what did you get off? Do you know what it's called? No. <laughs> <laughs> the little piece of metal. Okay, well here she goes. We were trying to figure out how to get the top piece off, but... Are you sure it's easier for me to hold the bottom one? Uh, I mean, you can try. Do you want me to twist the top piece? This won't twist it, it'll just hold it because it's nice. not flat. Got it. Hell yeah! Look at us!
I know this whole top pack should come off. It's not moving. I'll try to push it up. Come on. Okay. Alright. First one. This is ah, so close. <gasps> yes. Woo! First one's always the hardest. Again. Gosh, those look so sick. And that adds camber. That's so sick. Higher. Higher? Does it go high? Yeah, right there. Teamwork. Two A mechanics. <laughs> you can screw and unbolt things. <laughs> My job's pretty easy right now. I literally just hold it. <laughs> she has to screw it. This is exciting! Okay, so we had to put the bolt in through the left because originally the bolt was coming in through the right side into the left. Since the reservoir is here, we had to put the bolt in through the left and then put the nut on the right side. And so far it's working perfect. And the top part fits perfect. Whole system works perfect. We uh, struggled to fit the Frisbee, the hub assembly, into the coilover, but then we realized the coilover kind of swivels because it's on a ball joint, and so it just worked perfectly. And we also figured out my wheel was turned to the right, so that's why I wasn't straight. But as soon as I strained out the steering wheel, magic work. I always think there's problems with everything I do. Because <laughs> there is. <laughs> but okay, so the top of this end link is supposed to go, you can't see it, but it's right here where my finger is, right here. And obviously that is four inches apart. And I was like, there's no way KW messed up because they've done like 30 years of research and development, not the Camaro because it came out in 2010, but they make perfect products. So I remembered that the sway bar, this thing down here, it's hard to look at the camera and grab things. It moves. We gotta move this down. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's freaking perfect. Also, don't forget stainless steel brake lines. It has this little 10 millimeter bolt and washer and that goes in through the backside. So I'm gonna put that in before I forget about it. I think we should go. What time is it? We should get the car and go. It's 11. Will she find the 10 millimeter? What? See, these are cheat codes because you could just go right and then if you're going backwards, you know exactly which way you're going. Now we have a bolt for the end link, which I assume is this. But the nut goes on the washer like that. Like Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln has the big tall hat, just like all the bolts and washers. Okay, where the end link goes, and here, there's this little dude. I guess, I would assume that stays in the same place, but it was connected by this little zip tie. So we're gonna get rid of that. Just takes forever to even get it decently there. Mess up or go all the way? Which one? You can go all the way. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yay. Yay! Oh my gosh. Go 
of Well, after getting the car all lowered down, I finished the front suspension, but stay tuned for the next video because I will be showing you guys the rear suspension. And I'm also putting coilovers in the rear along with the Detroit Speed, lower control arms, trailing arms, and I already have their sway bars and end links in the rear as well. So it's basically a full suspension upgrade in the rear. The rear definitely took a little bit longer just because we were putting in the Detroit Speed parts. But here the car is in the sun. I have been driving it for a few days, but it's definitely getting lower. It looks incredible. I do have to go get it aligned to soon, but stay tuned for the next video. I am so excited. The suspension feels amazing. I'm sure I'll be doing a drive with me video soon because I have been freaking out how incredible these coilovers and I'm so grateful. And I wanna say thank you to KW Suspension total game changer. I love these coilovers so much. <laughs> I needed these a very, very long time ago. But thank you guys so much for watching my channel. As always, go check out my Instagram, TikTok. Everything is Kayla Rundle. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.